Today's episode of Tutorials by Kasanga. So what we are going to do today, we are going to insert a delay on a video input. We are going to insert a delay on a video input. Number one, the reason why I have uh, this camera set up here and this input set up here is so that um, once we apply the delay, you can be able to see how the delay affects. So I'm not going to apply the delay on this video feed. I'm going to apply the delay on this other uh, feed on this side. So how do we do it? Number one, let me let me play. This one of the videos that uh, we have been using uh, for our social media uh, on YouTube. Uh, it's a video on how to do a squeeze back um, for for Vmix. But for this episode, we want to do uh, to add a delay. So how do we do it? You come to the video feed, and for this, we're going to be using video feed number two. You come to the settings tab. On the settings tab, you go to advanced. Normally, you'll find data general, but today we're going to do to go to the advanced tab. <coughs> now, one thing you have to understand is that when you're applying a delay on a video feed, uh, the difference has to be saved on your RAM. The difference between the time being played and the time that actually uh, you are streaming has to be saved on your RAM. So, number one, you need to have a lot, a lot of RAM. So for this one, we are going to apply a 10 second delay. Now, our video is running at 25 frames per second. So a 10 second delay will be 25 times 10, that will be 250. Now I'll apply, you see at the moment is 0 MB allocated because it's streaming direct. Now, once the allocation is done, you'll see uh, it's going to consume around 439 MBs from our RAM. Uh, now, as we talk, I can share this down. This video is 10 seconds slower if you compare it to the initial input. Now, where is the initial input? I'll come to this video here. Uh, at the moment, it's difficult to see if this is exactly what's here, but if I take this to the very beginning, you see this one has begun and this one has yet. Uh, to begin. So if you give it around 10 seconds, what was on this frame is going to reflect to uh, to this frame. So that is how we set up video delays and uh, when when you're doing it for, for streaming, you know sometimes you're not sure what the guest is going to say. Maybe the guest might say something that uh, you really don't intend to go on onto a channel this is the platform that you use but what we have tackled at the moment is the video delay the video delay now this tab here this is where we have the audio delay at the bottom right if i need to delay the audio for this video you remember we've done the delay at uh, 10 seconds if you want to delay the audio come to the settings the settings tab once it's populated you just see the delay here now remember one millisecond sorry one second equals a thousand milliseconds so if you're going to do it by 10 what well, this means it's going to, this one is going to change to 10 10 seconds times a thousand milliseconds gives you 10,000 so that now this video plus the audio will be delayed by exactly 10 seconds okay guys that has been today's uh, tutorial make sure to like comment and subscribe on this youtube channel and uh, we appreciate for those that have subscribed you can also share the link with your friends god bless you till next time stay safe